I had te public, te public school teachers that changed my life, that did unbelievable amount of work. They got in at 6, 6 a.m. every day. They worked their tail off. Then I had teachers that would take half the year off. They just didn't care. They were, they were you know, bratty. They thought it was horrible. And yet those, the, the one that didn't put in as much effort was earning more than the person that was just there. That is not the way that we should reward I think, I believe, teachers in, in this country. Teachers are modern day heroes. I'm very, very pro-teacher, very anti-teacher union. So what's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Kick, according to Charlie Kick, takes on pro-leftist teacher, okay? Let's check this out. So. Hi, so I just wanted to know what your take was on, you said, with education to fire the bad teachers. What's your definition of bad teachers? Great question. So how many people here think you've had at least one teacher that deserves to be fired? Everyone raised their hand always. Always. Um, so the question is, how do you find them, right? So I got this question asked a lot. Here's the interesting thing. So when President Obama was running for president in 2008, one of his big things, he said it over 40 times, was that we need to have a system that rewards good teachers and fires bad ones. But the question is always, how do you find the bad ones? So is it test scores? Probably not. Is it, you know, peer evaluation? The best metric is you have teachers, grade teachers, and you have parental input. Here's the thing. You know the really, really bad teachers. The, those have got to go. I had teachers earning $150,000 a year, barely showing up for class, teaching gym, doing nothing, being completely lazy. They're a drain on the school budget. They're a drain on the local community, and they should be fired instantaneously. The problem is, under current teacher tenure laws in certain states, in most states, they are protected by by contracts designed by teacher unions that make it nearly impossible to fire bad teachers. If they're not productive, they don't put time in. So I, I would support reform and a system that allows really good teachers. Here's the thing. Some teachers, this might be a surprise to some of my liberal counterparts, so I had te public, te public school teachers that changed my life that did unbelievable amount of work. They got in at 6, 6 a.m. every day. They worked their tail off. Then I had teachers that would take half the year off. They just didn't care. They were, they were you know, bratty, they thought it was horrible. And yet those, the, the one that didn't put in as much effort was earning more than the person that was just there. That is not the way that we should reward, I think, I believe, teachers in, in this country. Teachers are modern day heroes. I'm very, very pro-teacher, very anti-teacher union. So I think that's the big distinction. So. What about professors? Okay. Professors? Yeah, like that's, college, at the college well, that's a, I, I believe this similar thing. I think that we currently have a system that rewards professors that want to write their book and sell it back to their class. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think that's well, it's, it's a fair point. Um, it it's also rewards professors that do most studying um, and not actually engaging with their current class. Here's the problem is that most college freshmen are taught by TAs, teacher's assistants. So they're, they're getting something, they're paying for something they're not even getting. Um, it's, it, I think measuring value in a professor should be different than that of a teacher, but here's the big difference is that, that public school teachers in K through 12 education um, have to be held to a different standard than professors. It just has to be. It's a different, there's more K through 12 teachers than there are professors, a lot more, almost 10 to one ratio. Okay, but with the whole point on the TAs, they're usually doctoral students? Yes. That are turning into professors, so. Why is that a problem? How are, how are the TAs supposed to Because be when you start to have class sizes that are 500 people and plus, when you have TAs that are not yet masters on the subject that you're paying a pretty penny on, that deserves question. Because you are going to college to learn from subject matter experts in an environment where you can dive deep into that particular topic, so on and so forth. So if I'm paying or I'm being forced to pay $800 for this sociology class or you know, human studies class or North, you know, and I'm getting taught by a TA with 800 people in a lecture hall this big, that, that could, that there's something I think wrong with that. I think because you're, you're paying a pretty penny for something that is then you know, very, I would say, inadequate. This was amazing to watch. Uh, it's not very too heated, but it's just cool. I like it. Um, the truth of the matter is about um, teachers and professors. There are some of them who are bad, we know. Some of them who are bad in the terms of like, they don't put in enough efforts into the the job they are in. They don't take it serious. You understand? So such teachers who don't take their job serious should be fired. 
you 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 see it from day one like you notice the character you know you see it like they don't take this job as if it's a job they take it like and uh, kid are getting paid and stuff but teacher who impacts lives of children that's that is a real teacher that is a good teacher you teach because you want to you would love to and you are actually creating great impact into the children into the students into their lives so that is a really really massive difference between a good and a bad teacher but teachers nowadays that we're having now from the leftists they are teaching children now about lgbtq which which i feel like um should be banned some teachers are teaching them about transgenderism about um about the genders as so that there are different type of gender you can identify as anything you want that self they should not take it to to students to to the kids that should be abolished. That should be taken aside. That is the bad teaching. Teach them exactly what is in the biology book, not, not what is trending or what people are doing now that they are seen as a normal thing. No. You understand? So there, there, there are a massive difference between good and a bad teacher. And we should be very, very, very careful. And I think parents should look into this. P teachers who are teaching your students, your children things, who are educating them, you should look into them to know if they are actually having great impact in your children's life or not. That, that, that's just the main thing. Teachers educate and create impact in children's life, in students' lives. So as parents, we have to be very, very mindful of this and uh, put into consideration. So the entire debate right here was actually beautiful. Um, the, the, the teacher right there was trying to get a clearer picture of, of her statement and Charlie was giving her perfect answer, like really, really perfect answer. There's, there's no other answer anyone should give, should have even given her both that answer itself because it was clear precise and accurate so comment down below think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe I, I just want a bag like a old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her or bitch you know i'm grinding like a pro skater baby mama bugging i'm so quick to hit ignore buku bitch in my bed i got scales on